Welcome back to AZ Astro. So tonight I'm getting some clear skies that is actually high wispy clouds right now. But I am currently going after M104, the Sombrero Galaxy. Uh, I have gotten a couple nights nice imaging on it already. It looks like until this weekend it's going to be cloudy. So I'm trying to get what I can now. Uh, so a couple updates. I got my new telescope set up. You can see I got the EQ or the Explore Scientific 102. I had to kind of adjust the way it was set up to get it mounted properly but I've got it set up I've been using it for several nights now and it's worked absolutely great and then uh, today I also picked up my new best friend I don't know if you guys can see him his name's Elliot and I'll show him more at the end of the video I'll introduce you to my new best friend so I will see you guys back in at the computer to see what kind of image I can get Okay, so we're back inside. Uh, as you can see, all this right here is clouds. So uh, my guider is struggling a little bit because of clouds, thin, wispy clouds coming through. Uh, I was trying to get as much imaging as I could before um, these clouds came in because I had like a three hour window in there. Uh, I did get probably 15 good frames in addition to the 54 that I already have. Um, 54 good frames on cloudless nights. But I wanted to get this video out. Uh, I, For some reason, I was going to record this intro and actually record the video a couple nights ago when I was, good, when I was having good imaging. But that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Uh, that's okay, because I've got it now. But... Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I got the clouds coming through. So my guiding is off the charts. and But you can still see here's the Sombrero Galaxy right here. And then let's see if I can pull up. Yeah, I already have imaging. So I, I'm not quite sure how to pull up images I've already got, but... Uh, I've got enough to get a decent image. Um, so, a couple updates. As I said in the intro, I got the uh, Explore Scientific uh, 102ED triplet refractor up. I think it does so much better of a shot uh, of imaging than my doublet does. Like these stars right here, I always notice, especially in the finished image, it was always a white star with like a blue halo around it which you can see in a lot of my images uh, but I've pretty much gotten rid of that the triplet is, has put all three colors on pinpoint accuracy so that looks really good and you guys will definitely see with this end image uh, so I, I absolutely love the my new uh, telescope and then I have ordered the Explore Scientific ED80 so I can get wider shots like the Heart Nebula, which I just completely failed on because I didn't have a wide enough field of view. The ED80 will be able to get that really good. I'm waiting for that to come in. It's on back order. Uh, they haven't sent me an email saying it's shipped yet, so I'm still waiting on that. And then I got a call from Star Arizona saying they got their Hyperstar 6 inch in stock. So as soon as I get some more money that I can spend, which will probably be in the next month or two, I'll be getting that attachment for my C6 so I can get a really, really fast, really wide angle telescope. So look for that video in the future. Uh, also look for the unboxing video of the ED80. Um, I also got a new uh, video camera for YouTube, which I have recorded the intro. you also see the end of the video with the new camera. I got the Sony ZV-1. I did a lot of research on it. Uh, it's literally just going to be for me recording these YouTube videos because it isn't any good for astrophotography other than like taking shots of the Milky Way because it doesn't have an interchangeable lens. But hopefully that will be able to uh, make my videos a little bit clearer, a little bit better. Uh, I also got a new microphone, the uh, uh, Rode Go Wireless, I think is what it's called. I'll put it down at the 
at the bottom of the video if I got that wrong. Uh, so hopefully the audio you guys hear will be much better. This audio that you see at my computer is recorded through my blue microphone. But hopefully the rest of the audio isn't cutting out anymore. It sounds nice and clear. So hopefully I've fixed that problem. So I will see you guys at the end of the video with the finished image. And I have a feeling it's going to be a really good image. Alright, so uh, I actually got some pretty good data. I got the image processed. The image looks way better than most of the images that I've gotten before. Uh, the colors are perfectly aligned. That's the good thing about a triplet. Uh, it's still a lot of noise. Um, I've been doing some research to find out how I can uh, reduce the amount of noise in my images. And I will be getting the hang of that. Uh, it's a little more difficult than I thought it would be to reduce the noise, but there's there's like nine different ways of doing it in Pix and Sight, so I will be getting the hang of one of those and being able to reduce the noise more in the image. Uh, so the image came out really good. Uh, it'll be at the end of this video. Uh, as I was talking about at the beginning of the video, I have an Explore Scientific ED80 triplet refractor coming as well. Uh, I also got an email from Star Arizona saying that their Hyperstar 6 is now available. So when I get some more money in, I will go ahead and purchase that as well so I can get a really fast f1.9 200 millimeter telescope, which would be awesome. Uh, and then, as you already know, I got a, uh, a new dog. He's seven months old. His name is Elliot. And I'll go get him so you guys can see him. Oh, so... This is Elliot. He's a little scared. I've had him for two days now. Uh, he's definitely black lab, but I also think that he is possibly uh, possibly part German Shepherd. He's still getting used to me, I think. Uh, I got him from a local pet rescue, and I think that his last owners weren't exactly nice to him because he's very submissive to me, and he cowers down when he thinks he's in trouble, which he's not. But he's such a good dog, and I'm going to train him up so he can come out to astrophotograph astrophotography with me, and he'll be my astro dog. So if you guys like this video, then uh, please like and subscribe to my channel, and leave a like for, for Elliot here.